Welcome to lesson 6 of my Visual C-Sharp language series. In this video, I'm going to be covering if and switch statements. Okay, so let's get started by creating a new project, Windows Forms application. And we are going to call this lesson 06. And then we're going to drag open uh, the text box. And we're going to pop in a button and a checkbox. And then we're going to double click on a button to create our uh, event handler for the button one a click event. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to create an if statement. And this is a special type of statement also known as a branching statement which uh, tests uh, whether a value is true or false. And based on that, it will execute a certain amount of code. And we're going to create this application so that depending whether the checkbox one here is clicked or not, it will display a different message inside a message box. Okay, so let's get started with the code. In C Sharp, we just start by displaying the keyword. We have our testing value. So we're going to uh, type in checkbox one dot checked equal equals to true, and then we will have opening and closing braces. Then we will type in message box dot show checkbox one is checked. Okay. So let's go ahead and compile this application. We will check the checkbox and we'll press the button and it says checkbox one is check. Then we will uncheck the checkbox. We will press the button and as you see no message box uh, pops up. So as you see this is uh, slightly different for those of you who know Visual Basic or maybe some other programming languages, but it's also very similar to the C++. Languages like uh, Visual Basic, they have if in the statement, then they have a then statement instead of these opening and closing braces which tells that. Okay, so let's break this down. What exactly is in here and what exactly are those uh, double um, equal signs. So in here it's always an evaluation statement. In here it's a boolean uh, statement. We have our boolean value here which is checked and this only uh, accepts uh, two values which are true and false. And equal equal is a comparison statement which sees if checkbox one dot checked equals true. And if the comparison uh, statement proves true then it will execute uh, this line of code right here. And one really big uh, programming mistake that I personally have is that I accidentally uh, just put the equal sign right here. And this is wrong. And the reason why is because the equal sign is an operation assignment. Um, it, what this will do is it will set the checkbox one dot check value equal to true. And there's no return, returning or testing of information returned so the if statement has no idea what to do and it will give you an error upon compiling. So just know that. And also uh, there's other ways too um, to have your comparison statements. There are many uh, different ways and they're very similar to inequalities. So I'm going to uh, show that in here in test equals to one. And we're going to get rid of this here and test equal equals to one. Right now, if test equal equals to one, it will compile this line of code. But there are other statements that you can test as well. Like if test is greater than or equal to one, if test is less than or equal to one, or it's just less than or greater than. So, um, that there are many ways to test an if statement. And to, f to find them out, you can just uh, search online or buy a book on the language. So, Get rid of this line of code here, and let's um, put.
put that back here. Checkbox one dot checked equals two. Whoops. See? There we go. Proves that again. There's my double equals. Now we are going to add what is called an else statement. An else statement always follows an if statement. And the way it works is that if this a if this if statement fails, if it's not if this statement does not equal true, then the else statement will occur. And just like the if statement, there's there the opening and closing of braces, and inside here we have uh, code to execute. So we're going to type in message box dot show uh, check box one isn't checked. Okay, so let's go ahead and compile the code here. There are build errors. Nope. Okay, let's just see you have a little a typo error right here. Let's go ahead and recompile. Want to check the checkbox? It's checked. Uncheck. Click. It isn't checked. Okay. Now there's uh, one more part of the if statement which I want to show you before we move on to switch statements. That is the else if, st if statement, which uh, how that basically works. The if statement does its thing. If that fails, then it goes on to the else if statement, and it's basically like another if statement. And if that doesn't execute, then it goes on to another statement if there is any. So let's get rid of this line of code here. We're going to type in else if check box one dot check equals equals uh, false we're going to pull up the line of code up here and message box dot show check box one isn't check there we go Let's go ahead and compile. We click it, we click the button, it's checked. It isn't checked. Okay. Now, you may find yourself in a scenario where you have tons of else if statements. If you want to check to ev every single thing to see uh, if it's true. And, my point is, it's a complete waste of code. So, well, that made C sharp, Microsoft has thought it was too. So, they implemented what is called the switch statement, which is also found. In the C++ uh, programming language, which allows you to check a value for uh, multiple amount of values. Now, my explanation is probably pretty pathetic, and the way how am I saying it, you're not understanding. Uh, there's a good chance, so best way is by showing. So, let me demonstrate how this works. So, we're going to drag open a text box. Okay, then we're click, going to click on the button, then we're going to create a, a double variable, we're going to call it, call it a check test, and we're going to uh, set this equal to double dot parse, and we're going to parse the value which is in the text box, if that's possible. If it's not, then it's going to cough up an error, and we'll deal with a exception handling later. Then we are going to create our uh, switch statement. So, this is how it works. We start with our switch, then just like the if statement, we have an opening brace, and then in here, we're going to just put the name of the variable. We have our opening and closing brace. You can see it already gives us an error. Let's put a bool. So this label must be a bool, string, char, or bool, a uh, new money type. Okay. Just, so let's get started. Case um, 1. Gray. Case two break. 
Okay. I'll explain that what that is either. Let me compile. Case label must be a full charge string. Party nullable type. Oh, okay, I'm doing something wrong. I'm sorry guys, actually I'm, I'm just going to get rid of it. I'm not going to convert it to a double. Let's get rid of this line of code here. I'm going to type in text box one dot text. There you go, that should be the truth. Now, this is how it's going to work. Here we go. So we have our text box one dot text. Basically what the switch statement will do is it will grab the statement and see if it's equal to any of these what are called case statements. And if it is, we will execute a line of code which will be um, right here. And then it will break, which means it will uh, end the switch statement. It will no longer check for these values. And that is necessary. So let's go here and type in uh, message box dot show Oops. okay here we go so let's go ahead and compile this application we're going to type in 1 and we're going to press the button and it says 1. And we're going to type in 2 and press the button and it says 2. And we're going to type in 3 and says what happens. And as you see, it does nothing. Okay. And there's one more part of the the switch statement. And I'm going to shut right here. That's the uh, default statement. It's actually been a while since I've done this. Okay, here we go. We do need that. And we're going to say switchbox.show. We're going to display a question mark. Okay. Let's see what happens here. We're going to type in three or four. Four works too. Button and it shows the question mark. So the default is similar to the else statement, which means none of this works. Then we'll execute the default statement. Okay. So. Uh, just to close here, we have branching statements of two of them. There are if and there are switch statements. And if statements work as if something, if a value is set to true, then it will execute a line of code. And switch statements will test a value for, to, against multiple values, which are provided in case statements. And if any of those are set to true, then it will execute this line of code. Okay, uh, that is it for this tutorial. Sorry for the occasional uh, mistakes in the word. It's been a while since I have done some of these things. Um been a while since I've programmed in general, actually. And that's it for this tutorial. For more tutorials, please go to thehackersjournal.com.